Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. It's not needed for me to start talking. You may start the class. So let's practice something. Let's see who can break the ice. Uh -huh. How was your, your week, teacher? Why me? You have many classmates here. How group, How many groups do you have? Right now, just one. Just you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I actually didn't want to continue teaching for the moment. Because I had a lot of things going on, but yeah. Oh, thank you for the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually it is okay. mine. It's mine. I have to say. Ah, okay. Yeah, because uh, I didn't. I just didn't want to, you know. I just can imagine you're a busy man. Uh, not currently. I was just focusing on on repairing my car and getting on their weight. But just repairing the car, it's been going on, so that's not good. Are you making it yourself or? Yeah, I changed the engine by myself. Ah, I thought you went up to the mechanic and paid no, for that. I, I became a mechanic. Okay. So you're a surprise <laughs> box. <laughs> yes. Yes, Teacher, I am. Mechanic and... I, I don't know. I just wanted I just wanted to learn. I Social wanted to entrepreneurship, learn. I guess. <laughs> yes, but the problem is that I'm poor and, and I became poorer. Come on. Well, the well, thing you're poor. Don't no, really. It. I mean I, I, I had to lo make some loans to to repair the vehicle, to buy the engine, you have no idea of uh, what a That's nightmare. Why I no longer have a car? Uh, we sold the car. Here. No, it's just that but I, I know you need it for your job, Ethan. For Jewish. Actually, no, because I'm not longer traveling all around. Okay. You know, uh, but I I really need the car to go and pick up the kids. Exactly, I was yeah, about to mention that. take them, take them out of school, and then take them mm -hmm. to to Senar, to the karate classes. And, um, but in reality, the whole thing is that I love that car. I mean, it's, I don't know, I fell in love with the car and, and I wanted, I wanted it to run faster because it, it, it had a small engine. So now I'm adding a 1.8. It was a 1.1, now it is a 1.8. And it's oh, going. Exactly. It would be a, I don't know too much about cars or engine, but it seems it's going to be a big change. Yeah, I but also I, you I will spend it. more gas, right? Almost <laughs> te almost ten thousand dollars. <sighs> My goodness. I know. I know, but but it's getting Because I, you I, want that specific car to run. My God. And I drove it today. It was I'm insane. No, I'm it was insane. I went around La Luz del Mundo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they 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 were supposed to install the exhaust, you know, the whole plumbing of the exhaust, but the guy didn't have time, so I had to come back home. As always, God, it's a nightmare. It is a nightmare. But anyways, it's getting there. It's getting there. So hopefully soon, everything will be back to normal, and I will be going back to. At the house chores because there's a lot of things that I haven't been attending. Plumbery, plumbery that I need to repair in the house. Um, so you're a plumber too. <laughs> I had to. I mean, I do things at at home. You know, I have to yeah. repair the kitchen or remodel the kitchen because my wife doesn't like it. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna change part of the floor and a lot of things. Uh, but it's a lot of work to do. It seems you need some help, San Luis. I guess you can help also. Steve, I'm sorry, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> Luis, what I mean, Steve, what do you do? Mm, it's good that I'm very, very busy in my in my job. Uh how to do 
I have to, to do a lot of reports and yes, I feel tired, really. Tired. I I I I, I really happy um in order to to receive this class, English class. <laughs> That's good. Well, we're, you're almost done, guys. It's just this month and a half, and we'll be done. By the end of June, you will be already graduated, or you will be graduating. I don't know if they will call me to be on the ceremony, as they sometimes do, or since we are in, in this model, you know, this way, virtual. Um, I don't know if it, that's going to happen, but there was a year, or I don't know if they will do it at the end of the year, because like four years ago, they contacted us and many teachers went to um to a hotel. Where was it? Hotel International. No, 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 no. It was uh this this other hotel. Before the pandemic, I guess. Sheraton. Sheraton. It was right that year, actually. It was many years ago, actually. Yeah, right that year. 2019, 2020, I can remember. But we went to the hotel and there was a ceremony, you know, and we took a lot of pictures with all the students that were graduating. It was like, I can't remember, like 50 students or something. They they wanted to do something like that. And it was nice. It was nice. The students spoke in English in front of everybody. And they were like, wow. One of the students was crying, actually, you know, the emotion and everything. It's a long road, right? It's been a long way. Who has more than a year on this course? Me. You? Yeah. Anna? I think Dora, too. Dora has been for a long time. Me as well. Jose yeah. Wilfredo. Almost the same time with uh, Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's good. Persistency. Being constant on what you do is, is very important. And become disciplined. It's difficult in these courses, I have to admit it. It's more difficult. But anyways, you have been on to a, a great academy because this is the only academy. And I'm telling you not because I work here. I have been everywhere. You know, I'm not going to say names, but everywhere where this course is, is implemented, um, they take two, three months for every model, you know, to start. It. But with Ingles Corporativo, is always one model you finish and then maybe one two weeks the most and you start the next one and so on even during the pandemic they they found their way out and i would like to say that this was the first academy uh, implementing um in inglés para el trabajo um in a virtual way by the way i want to congratulate in Safor because today they are celebrating 30 years of existence yeah, yeah today is the 30th anniversary and so felicidades a Insafor por sus 30 años de, de existencia y de esta gran labor que han llevado a cabo no solo de darnos trabajo mucho personal sino también de ayudar a miles de salvadoreños no tienen idea de las cantidades de cursos que hay de Insafor no es solamente en inglés o sea es tantos cursos y tantos jóvenes, de hecho, también jóvenes en riesgo que han sido rescatados por esos cursos y me consta mucho. Yo soy parte de ellos, de hecho, en el 2001 me gradué de técnico de administración de empresas industriales y sin esa carrera no hubiese salido adelante. Mucho inglés podría saber, pero ese, ese técnico me ayudó muchísimo. Es, he llegado hasta a, a asesorar a empresas en ciertos aspectos y más que todo desarrollo personal, pero es que... Gracias, de verdad, en esa forma. Espero que vean el saludo. <laughs> I was I was requested to do that, but but yeah, I mean, I'm really excited. It's been a long time. Can you imagine 30 years? Wow. And I have met amazing people here. And in these courses, you know, I, I work with Fe Alegría. Have you ever heard about him? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're another, another thing, you know that wouldn't exist without Insaforp. And I, I work there and I, I work with uh, Jóvenes en Riesgo. Man, that's difficult. That's really difficult. You, you have to become a psychologist, just literally. I was about to, to, well, I wasn't going to fight 
that guy, but he wanted me to fight with him, you know, one of the students, because he wanted he didn't want to be on the English class. He just didn't want to participate. He didn't want to speak in English. After three months, he started participating. After six months, we became friends. And he learned. Yeah. And he learned. So turns out to be that I'm always right. There's always good in people. Mm -hmm. Everybody, even those gangsters on the on jail, you know, they they did really terrible things, but in the end, deep inside they're humans and they have something good. Mm -hmm. Maybe a zero 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 point I mean a zero point zero 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 one percent, but there's always good, no matter what. Okay. So let's start with the attendance and then we move on with the topics. And I would like to start with the platform tonight because it's Friday, okay? We will see that. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Gracia Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Yeah. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. You're driving, I think. Be careful. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Mm -hmm. Not here yet. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. There you are. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Hmm. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Excellent. Okay. By the way, this guy's name, the one that I was telling you, this teenager, his name was David. <laughs> that was his name. I, I will never forget. But anyways, okay. So, um, ta -ta -ta -ta, where were we? Let me open the platform so we can start. And remember, you must finish up to what exercise? What's the exercise number? 1.9. 1.9, let's see. I already did it, but uh, in the, uh, there is a problem in the 1.5 and uh, the same problem in the 1.7, I believe. Hmm. Don't worry, we will evacuate your doubts right away. You know what's the meaning of FAQ, apostrophe S, FAQS? Frequently asked questions. Ah, uh, you got it. Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. Um, I'm just waiting for the platform to open. Guys, an area of improvement that I'm noticing in you, and you should attack it. I don't know how to say that, but you know, you should improve it as soon as possible, is the ED endings. While the platform loads, I'm just going to remind you there are three sounds for the ED endings, right? And ED endings are applied on which kind of verbs on the simple past? Somebody? Ending on the simple past. Yeah, what type of verbs are affected? ED? There, there are three sounds, I, I remember. No, 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 but what kind of verbs? We have what regulars have and irregulars, right? So regulars. Regular verbs. Okay, remember the past participle of the regular verbs is the same simple past, right? So there are three sounds, as David is saying. The first sound is very simple. It's t -t -t. So the tip of your tongue on the back of your upper teeth. And then you do like a cat sound. T -t 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 -t. <laughs> That's the way, okay? Now this sound, let's say you have a verb which 
ending sound is not strong. Mind this, mind this. I send you a list of verbs. If you noticed, there are irregular verbs and there are irregular verbs. On the regular verbs, you have a fourth column and there is a little T, a little T on that column next to those verbs. If you want, take a look at the PDF file and you will find verbs which in its base form are voiceless. What's the, what does that mean? For example, the word, the verb walk, walk, walk. So there's no continuation on the sound, on the K sound, okay. Another one, help me here because I, I, I'm, I'm just coming up out of my mind with this. Walk, uh-huh. Talk. Talk, okay, another one with K. I found it. Okay, so we have walk, help. Okay, watch, watch, watch. Okay, laugh, laugh. And a very easy way to detect if there is vibration on that final sound is putting your hands on your neck. Okay, it will not vibrate if you say laugh. Okay, walk, and so on. Let's see. Uh, kiss, miss, dance, dance. There's no vibration. And the last one, fix. So for those that there's no vibration on your throat, what you do is add the t -t -t sound. So you have walked, talked, laughed, laughed. Okay, what else? Kissed, missed, fixed, fixed. Okay, easy. That's the first sound. The second sound is the opposite. There is vibration on the base form of the verb. So if you put your hands again on your throat and you go like call, call, this will vibrate. Okay. Clean, clean. How do you know if you're pronunciating very well? That's a nasal sound. A nasal mm -hmm. sound? Yeah. Cover your nose. <laughs> Fernando, everybody, Steve, cover your nose. Now say the number nine. Nine. <laughs> that, that's the feeling. That is the feeling that you need to have now, cover your nose again. If you say the word niño. 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 <laughs> what happened, right? <laughs> Be careful with your mouth. It's mocus. so funny. <laughs> Be careful. Okay. So that's the feeling that you need to have with some words. When you say, for example, pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. Also, pronunciation. the word mountain, 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 mountain. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Here. Mountain. Corton. 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 It's not Corton. Corton. Okay. Mountain. No. Important. Mountain. Important. Very good. Important. Important. Okay. And Important. nine. Okay. So nine. that sound is uh, with that word clean. Clean. Continuing. Offer. Oh, offer. offer. Oh, oh, it vibrates. More uh, uh, clearer. Clear this time, you can say the word damage, damage, damage. Ugh, damage. Now damage. something clearer, clearer. The words, I'm sorry, the verbs ending on v, on the sound v. For example, love. 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 Yeah, your love. lower, your lower leap is going to be a little bit sticky, love. right? If you say love. Love. Okay. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Okay, amaze, amaze. So, with this verse, all you will do is add the sound. It's like making your tongue vibrate on the back of your upper teeth. 
Okay, so we say cold, cold, cleaned, cleaned, offered, offered. What else? Loved, loved, used, damaged, 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 amazed, amazed, enjoyed, and so on. Okay? There's vibration, so I add that sound. And the third rule is easier because if the verb already ends on those two sounds, on the t sound or the sound, then you will say eith, eith. And there are a few examples like want, want, wanted. Okay? Need, needed. I say needed, needed, needed. And there's one more, act, acted, acted. I always like to say that um, if some verbs end with two consonants, like the word or the verb want, you have two options. You can say wanted or wanted, wanted, okay? I'm a wanted. Dead or alive. John Bon Jovi, right? I'm a wanted. Dead or alive. So it was quick. Research more in the ending sounds. Use um, juglish.com. And if you had the time to um, go through the link that I shared yesterday, I think. That's another one, you know, that I love. There's a lot you can do with all these conversations. You have 250 conversations that you can listen and repeat. And there's a key, watch yesterday's video. I think, I, I, who, who did I stay with? Oh, with Fernando, right? I, I taught Fernando how to use those uh, conversations to become more fluent. It's very useful. So whatever you do, do it. Okay, take the time to practice. Okay, um, so. We did the attendance and the, the website just loaded. So let's go with the website uh, really quick through the exercises. Help me if you already completed this. Let me know if there was any any gaps you may found. You let me know. So let's see. Uh, we have, I think we're clear with 1.1, right? We cleared that out before. What about 1.3? What happened here? This is what we did yesterday, right? So really quick, means of securing the necessities of life. Click the options. Okay, help me. Um, livelihood. Livelihood. Gracias. Livelihood. Livelihood. Okay. That means of securing the necessities of life. Okay. Capital invested in a project in which there is a substantial element of risk. Typically, Central. typically, hey, not an easy word. Typically, uh -uh. typically, typically, a new or expanding business. Uh huh. Venture. Venture capital. Venture capital. By the way, venture capital. I thought because it venture. sounds like adventure. <laughs> I know. Ven no, but I'm trying to emphasize the V sound because we, we tend venture. to say Victoria, Baca, right? No, Baca, Victoria. Okay, venture capital, capital, capital. A small sum of money lent at low interest to a new business? Microloan. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Trade between companies in developed countries and producers in developing countries in which fair prices are paid to the producers. Hmm. Fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Fair trade. Okay. 
And the last one is the quantification of the relative importance that people place on the changes they experience in their lives. Social value. Social value. Mm -hmm. Social value. Very good. That's it. Good. Look at you. You don't need me. Okay. Let's go with 1.5. That was so easy. I don't know if it's an error in the platform or what. Select five characteristics of social entrepreneurs. Yeah, but you just choose one. Yeah, but you can, you can only think. choose one of them. Mm -hmm. okay, yes. But I don't think if what you choose is wrong, will give you a right. I mean, uh, it will make you pass. No, no you don't need to choose five. Just choose one. and, and then No, no, no. That. That's my point. But if I say, for example, shy... I don't think shy is part of the characteristics of a oh, social entrepreneur. No, 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 no. Right? That's my no. point. I mean, if you select shy, that will be wrong. So give me one. Confident. <laughs> Just one. Okay. Hold on. Confident? Confident. Sober. Stubber. Critical problem thinking. Solver. Oh, problem solver. Okay. What problem else? Solver. Critical thinking. Yeah, Critical thinking. thinking. Okay. Risk-taker. Risk-taker, Risk -taker. okay. Independent. Independent. Self-starter. Self-starter. Starter. Starter. Self-starter. Self-starter. Self Better. Self-starter. Self okay. Self so let's... Uh, good. Perfect. I think you got the idea, right? Um, this okay. is the easiest uh, homework that I made in the platform that whole <laughs> time. I mean, wait. It's just one question? Exactly. Yes. We were yeah, that's what, you that that's what we said. We can only choose so easy. one of them. Lucky you can choose one. It's the five. same too. <laughs> just one. I don't know if it's an error in the platform. Um, it's just the type of formula. I mean, sorry, the type of questionnaire, the format they chosen. So Richard Branson says that good entrepreneurs should what? Be prepared to People fail. Take risks. Enjoy themselves. There's other people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. So be prepared to fail. Trust other people to do things. Trust other people to do Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Okay. The was it does. Okay. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> and the last one. Just the correct meaning. Drawbacks. Oh. Where is the options? Disadvantages. Disadvantages. Yes, that is. Yeah, disadvantage. 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 Disadvantages. Disadvantages. Good. Yes. Disadvantages. Executives. People, people who run a business. business. People who run a business. I'm I'm sticking with this. Um, drawbacks. A drawback in finance means something. In bank language, it means something else. A drawback is to, you know, take things back on your account. But anyways, people who run a business, um, it's their executives. Okay, on board. Uh, being part of a team. Being, being part of a team. a team. Being part of a team. Again, being part of a team. Being I knew the word onboarding, for example. Wait, 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 wait. Steve, Steve. Being part of a team. Being, being, pa being part of being a part team. Of team. You see, there's team. where you complicate your life. Try to join the sounds. Being part of a, part of a, part of a, part of a. Being part of a team. So a good, a good advice. Cuando sientas que te trabas, identifica dónde te estás trabando y pensar repetir varias veces esa palabra para que se la puedas sí. unir, ¿ok? Parova, 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 parova. Parova, parova, parova. Parova, 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 team. Being part of a team. You got it. Ok. Bring something to the table. Yes. Provide <laughs> something useful. Mm, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Yet. Yeah. Provide something useful. Yeah. Really? Mm, let's see. Actually, yeah, because get is like obtain something, right? Mm, let's yes, see. Yes. Aqu acquire. Acquire. Get. 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 
Yes, yeah. that sounds more like it. Paid off. Yeah, that's well. The same. It's the yeah. same. The it's same. Good? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm just following you. Hey, you got it. Very good, guys. See, that simple it was. I hope that once we finish this session, I have to update your grades on the platform. So I'm going to check and make sure that everybody's done. Okay. I don't want to be working tomorrow. Well, I have to work until 1130. Ah, anyways. So that was it. Let me show you something, introduce you to a tool that is going to be very useful for David in, the, in his classes, I hope. Oh, no, but you're teaching math, right? Um, but anyway. I want to teach English teacher. Uh -huh, okay. There, there are many, many subjects in, in English. In the, for instance, there was, or, and there is one of my challenge, the future I talk to the coordinator. Mm -hmm. I want to teach English because it's the only way that I can improve. And you have teenagers. I have teenagers, and, and that teenager can speak so well English. They speak because they they uh, uh, start from the nursery. Okay, David, I don't want to disappoint you, but I, if I were you, I will go to the gym. <laughs> because teenagers... You cannot be sitting. I'm yes. telling you. I'm telling yes. you. I, yes. I fired. I fired a, a veteran, a war veteran from an academy. He was a gringo. He was an American living in the, yes. in El Salvador. He got married with a Salvadorian yeah. girl, <laughs> and I had to let him go. I had to let him go because he was sitting all the class. He was in advanced. Yes. He and he was very good, but he never moved from his chair. And he was teaching um, teenagers. They got bored. They really got bored. So you have to move, you know, and you do that through dynamics. For example, let me give you a clear example of what I'm saying. I get to the board. I write the word advantage. Okay. So, and they know already. Every time I'm speaking, you know, they have the advantage of listening to my words. And when I say advantage, they have to change chairs like that. <laughs> so yes, yes. They're paying attention. Yes. <laughs> they're paying it's attention. It's a good one because they like to change it. And your yes. brain goes like, yes. And that's the way they like it. So, I just send you a link. This is an icebreaker. Um, you know, those are random questions. I'm not going to project it. You don't have to project it to remember. But for example, if you knew you only had 24 hours left to leave. What would you do if you knew you only had 24 hours left to live? What would you do? It's a hard question. Why? Okay, good. Juan, go. Uh, if I could be, or maybe if I were selfish, I could spend my time with with things that I like, yeah. But uh, oh, that really like just by me, yeah. But uh, if you were or if I were not so selfish, I could spend my life or my time life <clears throat> at least a third part uh, with people that I loved and maybe people who love me uh, other time doing doing things that I like and the other time maybe doing extreme things for example jump from a parachute or from an airplane in a parachute or jump from uh I that, don't know during the last 30 seconds right yeah the yeah last... but 24 hours, okay, 30 seconds left. Bye, guys. Bye. Woo. Yeah. In the middle of the fall, I'm not dead. Oh, my God. One minute, two minutes. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like this. Yeah. Hey, great job. Okay, next. Great job. Do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? Do you prefer to eat at home or eat out? 
Anybody? I prefer it out. Really? Why? Because if I eat out, I don't have to this dish, the wash dish. Oh, if, you, if you don't eat out, repeat, if I don't eat out. If, sorry? <laughs> Here, if I don't eat out. If not I eat, please out. repeat slowly. If <laughs> I... <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> no, go. If I don't eat out, no. No, no, no sorry. Slow motion. Slow if motion. I if, don't eat out. If, if I, I don't eat out. If I don't eat out. If I don't eat out. Okay. If I. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> if I don't eat if out, I, I have to wash the dishes. Go for it. If I only eat out. Mm -hmm. I forgot that. I don't have to wash the dishes. <laughs> I don't have to wash the dishes. Good. You got it. You did it the last part. Very good. Okay. So this is, this is uh, an addictive tool. And at the end of the class, if you participate a lot tonight, I will give you the last tool that I love. That one, you will get an addiction. If you don't have it yet, you will become addicted to that website. But So you can test it during the weekend with your family. Okay. Ah, this is too complicated. Let's see. Do you read reviews about a movie before deciding whether to watch it or not? You read mm. reviews about a movie. Someone else, Juan, before you before deciding whether to watch it or not. Definitely, all the time. Spoilers on TikTok. No. Yeah, I will go for them. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at a TikTok before the class. Uh, that the I can't remember how they call. Oh, Phase Six of Marvel is coming. And it's it yeah. contains two Avenger movies. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. insane. It's insane. In, in my in my case, I don't I don't like to 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 read whatever related to superheroes. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I really like them. Yeah, do you, and... you, do you like the feeling of being surprised? Yes. Okay. Yes. Excited. Okay. My, my favorite one is Iron Man. Yeah. So, uh, Ant Man also, and people told me, ah, oh, the, the movie is is not. Uh, is that for you? So good. Yeah. But I decide, besides that, besides that, people said I decide to to watch them. Yeah. At the end. It was like a, okay, people have reason because the movie is done. People's uh, right. So Pe people's right. So excited. Yeah, people was right. Yeah. But in my case, I don't like to read or to listen or to whatever to do related with no. Uh, Knowing anything. what the movie goes about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For me. I like the surprises related with superheroes. Okay. Great job, guys. I'm only going to give you 15 minutes for you to practice with your classmates. Just throw a question to someone. Answer it fast. Just take about 30 seconds. Give a straight answer. Straight to the point. Okay. Don't take too long. Because if not, I mean, everybody must participate. Okay. That's my point. You got it? Get the link and change the word, change the question, throw it to someone else, and so on. Nadie se quede en este room, por favor. Let's go. David, I'll move you. I'll move you, David. Okay. Orange you. Here. Okay, let's go. Okay.
Captain America, let's go. Happy, can you hear me? Steve? So far, so good. What about you? I'm doing good. Yeah. Okay. And you continue teaching Excel? Yeah, tomorrow. Oh. Just Saturdays from 8 to 12 and from 2 to 6. Ah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of good. Uh, for me, it's one of the most things that I liked related with the job because I really like to share my knowledge. And mm -hmm. for me, it's a kind of uh, situation that, uh, that relax myself, yeah. Because from eight to four, from Monday to, to Friday, it's kind of a stressing situation. In my case, yeah. on Saturdays, it's a relaxing situation. I really like that uh, that thing, yeah. Uh, and we try to do our best, yeah. Okay, that's cool. And you, Jose, what about you? What about you, Dora? And me? Well, I, today I work at a, a 7 p.m. because I don't want to go tomorrow to work. <laughs> it's a good, a good argue, argument. Yes. It's, a, it's, it's difficult in, in Saturday because I there are traffic jams. It's horrible in, in Saturday. Yeah. See. There are a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic in the in the in the in, in San Salvador. Uh -huh, yeah, San Salvador. that's right. No, you're right. There is a lot of traffic. Where Next do you question. Live, Dora, and where do you work? Could you repeat, please? Wait, wait, Juan, Juan, are you using the link on WhatsApp? No, sorry. Oh, well. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was uh, uh, rolling, connecting, I don't know. Oh, okay, but you're here. That's good. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. So okay. you can click on the on the, on the yeah. or, or generate, orange yeah. button. Orange. Generate another random topic. Who was the uh, last person that that called you or that called or text. That's the, the random question for any of you guys. And uh, just say a name. If not, okay. yeah. <laughs> and that person will continue with the next question to someone okay, else. For, you got it. For, okay. For Jose Wilfredo. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Mm. What about Juliana? Mm, my case, yeah, nowadays I prefer to stay home. The I appreciate second. that that calm, you know, and and hang out um, or spend time, sorry, with my siblings, with my mom. Mm. I prefer okay. that. And I think that my friends too. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that maybe it's because um, we are now... Not anymore like teenagers, you know. Exactly. I was about to say something like that. <laughs> we are not in our um, not in our twenties. <laughs> yeah. We are becoming like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> the flower lady. <laughs> we are grown up so that now. Not kids <laughs> anymore. <laughs> no. Okay. Great. Gracias. Okay, another uh, question. So my question is, what do you miss most about being a kid? Mm. I miss not mm. working, not having to work <laughs> to mm. get a livelihood. <laughs> um, what I miss, uh, maybe is that what I what I really miss is that my grandma was always uh, cooking the the lunch. 
and, and always we knew that at the, in the lunch time we had a special uh, food because she was cooking so patient. Always she started to cook like three or two hours before. So do I? Yeah, in, in university I have the, the subject, but um, I like it. In uh, my case, uh, uh, I studied in, uh, how do you say, uh, Bachillerato in Mecánica General. Uh, is a uh, general mechanic high school, <laughs> maybe. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, this this uh, subject is very very important because uh, when you uh, make a a piece uh, in the machine, uh, uh, if you uh, you uh, you need to draw need a, right need a, a drawing and uh, how do you say interpretar or like reading reading a a, a, a plan uh, a plans ah uh, okay that the draw for a a house and for a for a a machine mm. No, well, uh, no the, it is for the yes uh, i understand for for maybe an, an a screwdriver or, or or something like that you need to to draw yeah and you need to read that the the the, the measures uh what is mm -hmm. the wide what is the high and, yeah. and all of the same the in the in a way that the the piece what exact you are yeah, uh, yeah right. and you have you had a machine to do that yeah, for example, I don't know how to say el torno, fresadora, teacher. Torno, torno <laughs> eh, maybe it's like latte or late. Uh, similar. Late, eh, S L A T H E. <laughs> maybe late. Look at look at the chat, Francisca. Your your baccalaureate. <laughs> Yes, How's it's different. It? <laughs> the, <laughs> the word the turn style. Turn style. Turn style. Technical vocabulary. Vocabulary in mechanics. Technical vocabulary. That sounds like bachelorate. Bachelorate. Bachelor okay, bachelorate. Bachelorate. Is, is the equivalent for, for high school teacher? Because I. Mm -hmm. Bachelorate. There is no style. Bachelorate. Baccalaureate. Is it not a, a college? Uh, like a university? No. Honestly, there's a huge discussion among teachers on, on what is what. If you compare yeah. Salvadoran education with American education, uh -huh. the levels, uh -huh. you know, I know there's elementary, um, middle school, high school, then you have the bachelorate, this thing, and then you have college. But, 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 uh... This bachelorate is is uh, it's a preparation after, for college. It's a preparation for college between between high school and college. Oh, yeah, yeah. And in college is the university. Yes, okay. yes. College mm -hmm. is the university, and yeah, professor it, is a teacher for for college. Exactly. And a teacher for high school is teacher. <laughs> yeah. And, and it is an award for for college at our level. Because I, I mean, they had other structure. They have a different it's, structure. It's, yes. Yeah. It's... But we have our structures, so it's, yeah. it's an award for, for yes. translate. Now, how do you say, no swim for la tangente? <laughs> <laughs> okay, move so... on. Do another question from the, are you using the random question generator? Yes, yes, I have yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I, I... We are discussing I... about our favorite subject. Favorite okay. subject. Just okay. one. Let let just one answer, and then that person makes the next question to someone else. We're only missing five minutes. Come on. Okay. Okay. So it is, I I write this in the chat because I don't know what is the meaning. I I feel that it's something like to to fill out. But have you ever peed in the shower? Is ah sorry I don't say. Me. <laughs> 
me. Okay. Uh, she she choose you. Yes. She. Yeah. Choose me. Me. Uh, she come my house. Okay. There are many things that people said, uh, and one of them is that uh, you don't choose the cat. The cat chooses you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> probably uh, in at your home could be many people. Yeah, but the cat will choose just one people to rest, to care them, to care about. Uh -huh. And something, some some things related with uh, the cat's uh, behavior, yeah. Uh -huh. And if if the cat choose you, <clears throat> you will be proud of 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 that situation. <laughs> and she is a uh, is is um um. I I maybe I think she like is, is stay in my house because it's quiet. There's no other people there and the other animals. And she only she is in the house. This is the only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cats think that we are the pets. I don't know why, but that is the the they trust. Yes. I think it's really good uh, if you have a pet. Is they are part of? I think they are or part of our family. Uh, I have two dogs, and before I I before I have um, they. They live at, at, at they live at on the street, and I try I try to give a, a give an opportunity <laughs> to change their their life. Is is a a, a a a big responsibility, and mm -hmm. you have you have to pay full for for food. You have to a bath and go to the veterinarian, uh, vacuums. Mm -hmm. uh, I go, I go out every day to to time, every day uh, before to work and after to work um, uh, at the park. Shut back. Yes. Back in. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for uh, for me is is really good how how that okay. and I I I prefer sometimes I prefer pet that person. Yes, but, uh, but some persons. <laughs> be responsibility. Uh, be, because of this, uh, I don't have a a, a more pet. No, I I work all days. Uh, only uh, at night in my house on uh, uh, weekends. It's so difficult uh, to get a dog. Only with Mitch. Only Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dora. Okay. You're welcome. And you, Juan Miguel? In my case, I have one cat and one dog. The cat is Tita because of Gatita, yeah? And the dog is Pito because of Principito, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, we had one more, one cat more, but he crossed the rainbow. Uh, his name was Chiripo because he came to us for Chiripa. Yeah. 
We had one more cat. Okay, we had one more cat. Yeah. Yeah, we have one more. Kit. Let's go. I was watching what women want. Again. I won't dance. Don't ask me. I won't dance. Why should I? I won't dance. Madam, with you. You see the movie? The part won't let my with uh, Mel Gibson? The things oh, okay. they should do. And Helen Hunt. Uh, when yeah. she was gorgeous okay so ta, 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 ta. Gracia, I need your help so tonight we have to learn by the way tonight's topic is feasibility of a social entrepreneurship idea feasibility of a social entrepreneurship idea hmm so, really quick, we, we only have one hour. We're going to go through this grammar, this short grammar, um, quicker, so we can work together and come up with a plan. Something that I love about advanced um, modules is that I like to make students creative, you know. I like to take their creativity off and, and picture, picture a plan, you know. And doing this in the last 10 years, I have to say, I have I have given good ideas to students, and only one student was, el was able to um, make his own business evolved because he had a pizzeria, okay? The guy came up with an idea for a good recipe for for the sauce, you know. Because if you don't know, the secret of making a good pizza is the sauce. So his secret, the secret is the longer you keep the tomato sauce on the freezer, the better it will taste. Of course, there is a way of packaging the tomato sauce, right? So I gave him the idea of using eggs on his recipe using eggs, using other ingredients that are not common on pizzas, like loroco, or using quesillo instead of the regular mozzarella, using other ingredients, you know. And he listened to it, and he tried it, and he made a, a scrambled egg pizza with chorizo. <laughs> and he said, it was, he said it was good, you know. So we... Yes. we we were able to do it. It was a great idea. So the point is, at the end of this module, I hope you become an entrepreneur at least or have a good idea that you later developed. That's my best wishes for you. If you can do that, this government is actually supporting a lot of entrepreneurs and some things are coming. I have a friend who used to work in the government and now she's an entrepreneur by herself and she had a good position in the government, but she she um, presented her, dis her dismissal letter because she didn't want to move, continue with, with them. You know, she wanted to start her own stuff and she did. So the thing is that that's what she said. You know, this government supports women a lot. I mean, women rights and also uh, entrepreneurs. So good things are coming, hopefully, hopefully. So... Quotation marks. Uh, Gracia, could you help me, please? Understanding the first part. Uh, yes. Use quotation marks to indicate the exact words of a speaker or writer. A. Cecile Blilios, founder of Impact First Investments, advises entrepreneurs, sh uh, entrepreneurs should be able to describe their theory of change and create a social impact plan in parallel with their business plan. Uh, B. Baron Chandran, 
founder of a multi-million marketing startup company who grew up extremely poor, says, my biggest happiness so far in life is being able to go back to the village where I was born and adapt it. Excellent. Adapted. Adapted. Perfect reading. Thank you very much. So what we understand is that when you want to emphasize um, the words of a speaker or writer, you use quotations. You may have seen this on a, on a reading, on a passage, you know, and um, we usually use them like to exaggerate what we're saying. Or when you are talking on reported speech, do you remember reported speech? That's that's basically reported speech. You're narrating from a third point of view, and and you say, and then he said, Colin, I'm I'm typically I typically do this every time I'm writing something or describing this conversation. I put the colon, okay, not semicolon. But Colin, you know what is Colin, right? No yes. puntos, no puntos. Okay, good. So Colin, and then I open the quotations. Okay, and I heard once that that's incorrectly done, but no, it's just another way of doing it. We also typically use quotations when something has irony, right? When you're describing, narrating, and what you're about to narrate was an um an overreacting sentence, or it was um, not true, you know? Where else have you have you seen quotations on lecturing? When you use a, a, a word that is not from the language you are talking about. Mm -hmm. When the main character says something in another language? Or you are using a, a, a word that is from another language and and you want to to the reader notice that uh, it is not uh, the the language you are using. Uh huh. And you do this right, David, with the fingers. Okay. Yes. Yes. What kind of expression is that, Fernando, or someone else? Juan, Steve, when you do this. Maybe <laughs> when you 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 do. Uh, you have a, a doubt about uh, a specific thing a, or a doubt, doubt, a doubt, 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 doubt. doubt. Uh -huh. about a thing or or, or talk, talking about a specific topic. I think Steve is very smart, you know. <laughs> 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 That's an example. Come on. When it comes, sarcasm. It's sarcasm. 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 Oh my god, that's a whole topic. Zoom zoom. Sarcasm. Yeah. Sarcasm. There's a lot of words ending on zoom on that. That ah, difficult pronunciation. Okay. So looking at the example, uh, I loved something that Gracia did two days ago. Uh she corrected me because if you remember the fanboys, right? After some connectors, you need the comma, right? So you added the comma and then you start. And I like the fact that they are making a pause there. Cecil Villalius, whatever, founder of Impact First Investments, advises. Interpreter should be able to describe, and then they throw the, they throw the, the whole sentence. So... That's good grammar there. Uh, punctuation, I'm sorry. Let's look at the next example. Who grew up extremely poor says, and again, there's a long pause, I will say. Who grew up extremely poor says, my biggest happiness so far in life is being able to go back. Excellent. Let's go with the second part. And... Um, I will choose someone. Dora, are you there? Yes, teacher. Would you please? Use quotation marks to indicate the word or phrase is being used in a special way. Social entrepreneurs should not get out of their ways to create the perfect pitch to investors, but 
rather focus on what they really need to grow their business idea. A good tip for social entrepreneurs is to provide sust sustainably context for impact investors interested on seeing in the big picture. Okay, perfect, thank you. See the big picture. Okay, one of these days I was mentioning to you when you get a new word, uh, when you're reading or listening to something, identify where is the stress, uh, the syllable stress, right? Um, in this case, uh, you read the word quote, quotation. What I recommend students is to do this, this little drawing of a semi triangle, I guess, because there is no tilde, right? In mm. English, there's no tilde in English, it's hidden. Okay, it is, but there's always a stress syllable where you raise your voice. Quotation. Quotation. And remember what I told you yesterday, right? Edu education, vacation, vacation, critication. <laughs> so you say shen, not, don't say shong, ni chong, right? Please, okay. Quotation, quotation, quotation. Very good. So entrepreneurs, in, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. No, no, no. This is wrong. That's wrong. It goes on the the second the second syllable. Entrepreneurs, 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 entrepreneurs. Sustainability, sustainability, sustainability. Again, sustainability. Sustainability. You got it. Sustainability. Next one. Interested. 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 You got it. Bien, eh, voy a hablar en español, aunque yo sé que no es debido, pero si nadie se los ha dicho hasta este punto, eh, permítanme. Sorry, my kids. And the volume of the TV. So. <laughs> Tu cerebro ya sabe todas estas letras. Desde que estabas pequeño las aprendió. Por ende, te va a forzar a que leas como ya lo aprendiste. Entonces, ¿qué tienes que hacer? Cuando quieras mejorar esa parte y hacerle entender al cerebro que ya hay otra forma de leer, um, busca algo como lo que les envié ayer, lo que le enviaba Fernando y le decía a Fernando. Um, leer dos días con la boca cerrada. Escuchar, perdón, el audio y ver las letras con la boca cerrada. Cualquier diálogo de los que aparecen en ese link. ¿Por qué? Porque tu cerebro tiene que entender que ya no se dice first. Eso es una palabra que te dio mucho problema, ¿verdad? First. first. ¿Cómo es? First. 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 There first. you go, David. Good. First. 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 Este, este punto no me van a decir first. Okay. And so on, right? Y te puede decir el cerebro, no, dice, is being used in a, ay no, es, voy a agregar la E, dice el cerebro, especial, why? Se va a dar duro porque le has de esa manera, porque ya conoce estas palabras, right? Make sense? Right, yes. Okay, yes. just a little commercial there, a little ad. Uh, just so you can improve all of this. Oh my God, hold on. Where do I delete the drawings? I forgot. Uh, I don't want to go with the eraser, but anyways, questions? No, all good. So the second way, in your own words, Steve, copy. Okay. Use quotation marks to indicate that a word or phrase is being used in a special way, which is what we were talking about. When you use irony, or you want to emphasize that the speaker on the lecture used irony. So social entrepreneurs should not get out of their ways to create the perfect pitch. 
to investors, but rather focus on what they really need to grow their business idea. A good tip for social entrepreneurs is to provide sustainability context for impact investors interested on seeing the big picture. That's irony, the big picture. Or, you know, it's just to, so you understand that with, by the big picture, what, what are we intending to, to say? If the whole vision, the whole idea, the main idea, the main idea, uh, no, the whole, the whole idea. Yeah, okay. the whole idea, right? Okay, I hope that's clear because now I'm gonna split you and you have to use this. This is exercise nine on page thirteen of your workbook, which I hope you already downloaded. All you have yes. to do is place the quotation marks where they are needed in the sentences below. The intended use of the quotation marks next to each sentence will hint you where to insert them. For example, number one says a phrase used in a special way. If I were you, I will just based my answers or my decision on these examples on the explanation above. Okay? Yes. Okay, so we have six. Make sure you discuss with your classmates. Don't go like, where could I download the textbook? Uh, it's on the platform. I couldn't download it right now. Can somebody download it and share it on the on the chat? Me, teacher. Sure. Okay, now I'll make sure you can share the screen. I'm leaving you the option of sharing the screen, but it's still, I will share the capture of this exercise nine on the WhatsApp group as well. Let me just find my snapping tool, snipping tool. There we go. Okay, it's on your chat as well. Oh my God, somebody just share a pizza picture on another chat, okay. That's cruel, that's really cruel, I'm on a diet. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna split you now so you can practice this. And again, make sure you discuss with your classmates what are the right answers. David, you are in group number three. Okay. And number two, so let's go to group number three. There we go. Okay. The, the manual is already in the chat teacher now. Awesome. The, the, the guy got to the groups. If they want to. Oh, this is still in the group, I think. Well, but if you can reshare it, that will be great. I mean, on WhatsApp. I'll try to download it here. Okay. Yes, I was able to do it. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. So we have to discuss yes. the sentences, right? Okay. Place the quotation marks where they are needed in the sentences below. The intended use of the quotation marks next to each sentence will hint you will hint you where to insert them. Okay. Let's see number one. Count something and make it count is catchphrase in the impact investing and social enterprise community. Phrase used in a special way. I think that the number one, the whole 
sentence. Um, Need the quotation marks. No, just count something and make it count. Just that part. Count something and make it count. What do you think? Uh, I agree. Okay. And what do you think, William, Francisco, Luis? Hey, uh, I'm sure uh, that the first one is count something and make, make it um, in a catch a trade in the impact invest in social enterprise community a phrase used in a special way. Mm. I don't know. In the number one, uh, I think it is uh, count something and make it count. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the number two. To start measuring the impact of social entrepreneurs, it is necessary to use metrics other than number of people reached or number of lives touched. Using a Okay, to start measuring the impact of entrepreneurs, this is the suggestion metrics other than number. Metrics. Mm -hmm. Reach. make it count uh, touch phrase in the impact investing in social enterprise community mm. a phrase use it in a special way yeah and but that is it it's better say. that we understand like uh he's explaining it above catch phrase catch phrase a, special, a phrase used in a special way count something and make it count. I think it will be count something and make it count. Quotation will be starting in count something and make it count. And because it says, it's a phrase used in, used in a special way. That is what I see. I don't know what you think. Count something and make it count. It's a country name. But, uh, yeah, so, it could be. Okay, so let's try that one. Let me one second. Okay, here. What do you think in the second one? Making calm here and here, right? Okay, to start measuring the impact of social entrepreneurs. It is necessary to use metrics other than number of people rich or number of live touch. 
Türkler meşhede başlayacak diyor. It's the same that yeah. the previous one that is a phrase. It's a phrase, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to uh, mention the input of social entrepreneurs. Maybe it is necessary to use metric. Until what word? Until the end. Exactly. I would think in the same. It is necessary to use metrics other than numbers of people rich or number of lives touch. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. It's... Okay. The third one. The third one. Okay. Which, let me just take no. Which. I think. Okay. Just give me one. Jane Lucy of Bridge Capital suggests more basic measures like customer and employee satisfactions too. Gosh, I don't know how to say that. Race. Um, this one. Which one? Gosh, maybe. Gosh. Gosh. Okay. They of know. social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track. Uh, I I will go. I'm not sure if one agrees. I will go with basic measures, and then, uh, they are much easier easier to track. Suggest more basic measures like customer employee satisfactions to gauge social entrepreneurs. They are more easy to track. Yes, as the customer employee satisfaction. Did they? This customer and employee satisfactions because they are much easier to track. Yeah, because I think uh, this person, Daniel, is the one who said they are much easier to track. The beginning from day? Yeah, maybe. Those and the comma is necessary because it's a, a quotation there. Mm -hmm. Because they are more easy to track. Those two ones, customer and police situation. For me, for me I, I, I'm not agree with you. You think all the phrase? Yeah. For me, is the whole phrase customer and employee satisfaction to gauge the impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track. I disagree. Uh, I disagree. Okay, I disagree. <laughs> so, uh, sorry, teacher, and, and sorry, guys. Uh, in the parentheses, you have the 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 clue. Yeah, phrase used in an in a special way. The exact words of a speaker. Uh, Daniel J. Lewis, CEO of, of Bridge Capital, suggests more basic measures like, and you open the quotation mark, customer and employee satisfaction to gauge the impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track. All, uh, all, all of the phrase love, for me. Those quotation, love the phrase. From customer and employee satisfaction too easier to track for me for me okay because it's all the phrase of the guy okay mm -hmm. because the explanation and argument also they are okay Okay, number five. Yes, that the number. The word we're using in a special way. Do we miss up number four to have them thought saving any money before the service? 
you be a mace of the number. What was one of the entrepreneurs of this one? Mark, I don't know. What is the meaning Mark of that? used in a special way. This one? What are the Have a two about saving Maybe, maybe just wannabe. Only wannabe? Just wannabe. Yeah, mm -hmm. just wannabe. Wannabe. Just wanna be without entrepreneurs, okay? Just wanna be yeah, they are they are much easier to track. Will be the the other. Okay. But I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, so yeah, we mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. In five, you be amazed of uh, at the number of wannabe entrepreneurs who haven't throw about saving any money before they start a business or used in a special way. You be amazed of wannabe. Or mm hmm. One of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. One eye. And the last one. Six. Um, Claire. Okay. I don't know if I pronounce it the right way. Carlene. <laughs> Carlene Sinclair Rollins. Known as the as the queen of business financing in the financial industry recommended 10 creative finance financing alternative for a startup right using a special mm, now as the queen of finance finance the queen of business financing in the financial industry I think. I think too. But just the uh, the queen of business financing. Financing? Financing. Nice. Financing. financing. I don't know if I can correct. It's financing, teacher? Financing. Financing, uh huh. Financing? In the financial industry. In the, In the financial. Right. financial. Financial. Okay. Okay, the second I don't know. I'm not sure. But of social and terms it's hard to use metrics. Other than, other than number of people reach. Mm, maybe I think in the number two, um, mm -hmm. phrases used in a special way could be uh, the question marks could be placed in the part that said other than number of people reach, number of lives touched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Metric other than number of people teach. Logic. Number of life teachers. Logic. Okay. Right. Okay. The first one is catch freight.
Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that's good. I think we are ready. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I, I noticed all of you were like uh, very interested in lecturing actually. Um, so, um, maybe I should do it with both, hold on. There we go. Okay, so uh, I noticed you were arguing, you know, <laughs> whether or not where where to place the quotations. So let, let's do this. I'll remember that this session is being recorded. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try to uh, leave this for the future, if that's possible. So number one, I'm just gonna read it so you can practice maybe count something and make it count is a catchphrase in the impact investing and social enterprise community. Count something and make it count is a catchphrase in the impact investing and social enterprise community. So a phrase used in a special way. Where do you think the quotation should be? We were discussing teacher uh, with the group that uh, we place the quotation marks and count something and make it count. Mm -hmm. Exactly, I don't have quotations right now. So I'm just gonna use that. What do you think? Uh, maybe, maybe an arrow, right? Instead of the little check. Okay, so here, and make it count, right. So count something and make it count. That's where it should go, definitely. Okay, <clears throat> number two, to start measuring the impact of social entrepreneurs, it is necessary to use metrics other than number of people reached or a number of lives touched. Creo to start... que haciendo... oh. Oh, sorry, Ana Claudia, I'm just going to read it one more time, okay? To start measuring the impact of social entrepreneurs, it is necessary to use metrics other than number of people reached or number of lives touched. Go ahead, Ana, Claudia. No, I'm sorry. I was talking to my sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but it's okay to start measuring the impact 
<laughs> of a social entrepreneur, it is necessary to use metrics. Uh, we discussed with the uh, with Fernando that that one it uh, uh, it, it will be studied. In, it is necessary to use metrics other than numbers of people rich or number of lives touched 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 uh -huh. touched 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 <laughs> forget about the you touched okay touched you got it okay, okay. so so there um use metrics other than number of people rich or number of lives touched phrases used in a special way what do you th what do you say guys mm, we were discussing teacher with the group that we placed well we placed the question marks in two parts of the sentence uh, the first one is uh, number of people reached and the second one number of lives touched i will say here you know number of lives touched uh, when they refer to phrases used in a special way, it, it's it, it's a figure. If the if you I, I hope you understand at this point, um, some other teacher may have used this word, but there are figures in English, especially on uncountable nouns. When when you're on basic three with me, I teach this on basic three uh, when we see uh, countables and uncountables wait that's basic two actually countables and uncountables so on uncountables um there are intangible uncountable things figures money is a figure air air is an illusion is a figure love is a figure you cannot count love okay so those are uncountable so just to give you an idea, so the same thing here, number of lives touched. Because other than number of people reached, is that tangible? Can you touch that idea? Number of people reached? Yes, right, is a group of people. But the number of lives touched, uh, mm -hmm. that makes more sense, right? You're using lives touched as a, even number, you know, is out of the context. Lives touched is like the phrase being used in a special way. I think. Okay. Do, do we all agree? Just because you say so, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, wake up, guys. We're almost done. Number three. I'm going to read twice, okay? First, slow motion and then higher speed okay so uh number three i think wait excuse me i think the biggest question once you've reached success is one of motivation i do le fleur or idol le fleur founder of a manufacturer of fun school supplies says, what keeps you going? What keeps you going? I think the biggest question once you've reached success is one of motivation. Ida Lefleur, founder of a manufacturer of fun school supplies says, what keeps you going? The exact words of a speaker. This is easy. What keeps you going? What keeps you going? What keeps you going? Exactly. That's what he says. He said. Okay. Next, number four. Daniel John Louis, CEO of Bridge Capital, suggests more basic measures like customer and employee satisfaction to gauge the impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track gauge 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 mm -hmm. one more time faster daniel john louis 
CEO of Bridge Capital suggests more basic measures like customer and employee satisfaction to gauge the impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track. Phrase used in a special way and the exact words of a speaker, both. Mm. The exact words of a speaker, I don't know the teacher could be at the end. They are much easier to track. The speaker was talking from a, a, a from a what is measures like suggest or which like customer questions. Ah, uh, yes, you are right. These are the emotions. Because the, but we need another when in the uh, customer employee satisfaction, maybe to go so, to Uh huh. What would be the phrase the used in a special way? Uh huh. Yes. The other one is the exact words. Yes. The exact words is uh, the last part. Yes. So a phrase used in a special way, customer and employee satisfaction, hmm. or gauge the impact of social entrepreneurship. By the way, what's the meaning of gauge? It's something like to close the, the gap, something like that. No. Re repeat with me, David, David, David. Again, some... Some... Thing. <laughs> Something, something, thing. Yeah, it's it's like the i n something. Something, something. Literal. I'm gonna send it to you. Literal in Spanish. There you go. <laughs> Read that something. Emphasize the m something something something. Something okay, continue, David. Sorry, I don't know that uh, this uh, ghost is uh, something like uh, the space between something that is closer, something like that. Something, <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't say sorry. Yes, repeat, 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 repeat until you get it. Yes. You will get it, you will get it. So, mm -hmm. it's just to, to fill the space, a gap. A gotch. Okay. Yes. A gotch the impact. To fill the space of the impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier to track. Uh, suggests more basic measures like. Uh, what about basic measures? More basic measures like customer and employee satisfaction. Well, we, we have seen on previous examples that before they give a, a special a phrase, uh -huh, a quotation phrase, it, let's call it that way. It's, uh, they use a comma, a pause, yes. right? So it could be this. So just more basic measures like customer and employee satisfaction to gauge the yes. impact of social entrepreneurship because they are much easier yes. to track. I think that that sounds pretty much better. Yes, yes, that is. Okay, next. You'd be amazed at the number of wannabe entrepreneurs who haven't bought, I'm sorry, who haven't thought about saving any money before they start a business. One more time. You'd be amazed at the number of wannabe entrepreneurs who haven't thought about saving any money before they start a business. I haven't, thought about, wannabe? Them, I haven't thought about them. What is wannabe? Want to be wannabe? literally, literally want to be, want to be, want to be, want to be. Mm -hmm. yes, it's just... That was a job between young people. <laughs> okay, and that is the phrase. That is the phrase because it's used in a special way because it's not a a, a word. This is not a word. It's something like uh, phonetic. Mm -hmm. 
it's something like phonetics. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, you know what? Uh, a year ago, a year ago, I uh, because of the way I learned speak English with Fran Sinatra and other singers, I said, I swore to myself that I was never going to use things like gonna, wanna, wanna. get a, etc. Come again? Donche. Dutche? Gotcha. Doncha. I don't Doncha. like Doncha. That's the worst. Doncha. Something Don like that. Doncha. 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 Yeah, as as David said, those are abbreviation of abbreviations of phonetics, but I don't like it. I, I thought it was like informal English, and it is. However, recently, like a year ago, I accepted it because it, I found it on a very prestigious, a very prestigious English book from Cambridge. So I was like, what? They really teach that? I mean, on the book, on the textbook, you you had got to, okay, or get to, actually. The booklet, the, the, the student's book said get to. It said uh, one, two, and it also said, oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong, right? Get to. Get a, get a, get a, I 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 got a, got a, got a, got a, I got it wrong. Gonna, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Going. Wait a minute. I got it. Gonna. I'm gonna. Uh huh. Going to. You see, I don't use this. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell. Uh huh. I'm gonna tell mom. Going to tell mom. I want to tell you something. Want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. So the book said, literally, the book was in writing, going to, and they said on the on the audio of that lecturing, they said, gonna. I was like, what? Then I found one, two, and it said, wanna. And I was like, Cambridge, really? Okay. So I didn't neglect it. Anyways. So you'll be amazed at the number of wannabe entrepreneurs who haven't thought about saving any money before they start a business. Words, a word used in a special way. Wannabe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that's very clear, right? Yeah, you'll be amazed by the number of wannabe entrepreneurs. Okay. Carlene Sinclair Robinson known as the queen of business financing in the financial industry, recommends 10 creative financing alternatives for a startup. The queen title of, of the, the, Final. the The queen of business the financing. Queen of business financing. And the queen of business financing. Definitely, I agree with you. Let me get that again. Lynn Sinclair, known as the queen of business financing. Yeah, up to there. The queen of business financing. was taking a little screenshot there I have been requested to okay I think that we're clear right do you have any doubts I think it's just a matter of um, understanding at least these two uses were very simple when somebody is speaking and says something is basically what the speecher or the main, the character that you're narrating about says if if he says something you quote him and there is where the word quoting or quote comes from because i'm quoting steve okay in the words of steve you guys are amazing for example oh wait no in the words of steve i could do this all day <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got the reference David did 
<laughs> Captain America. Hey, that that first movie was amazing. Okay, and that's basically it for today. Um, well, hmm. Then on your notebook, uh, I'm sorry, on your student book, there's something else, uh, which I will leave as homework for now. Is I really need you to think about this a lot. Um, exercise 10, look at this. On Monday, we're going to work on this deeply. This is very important, social entrepreneurship. In pairs or trios, we will see how the class goes. You need to go online and browse for a social entrepreneurship business in your country or in Latin American or in the Latin American region. Prepare a presentation that analyzes the following social purpose of the business. Summary of the foundation story of the business. Obstacles that the business has overcome. Presence in the region. Number of employees. And use the questions below to help you assess the feasibility of a similar project implementation in your country. This is gold. I mean, do you have the, the steps to conduct an investigation of an existing company? <clears throat> I did this when I was in, in, in La Cámara de Comercio Industrial El Salvador, and it was amazing. I mean, it turned out I was amused by the companies that some uh, classmates and I found because I, I never thought that our companies, our companies, uh, had struggled so much to to become what they were because they are not anymore. I have to say it, uh, and I'll I'll mention them right away. Ad hoc, ad hoc. Um, I don't remember this because I was just a little boy, but back in the days, people didn't use, didn't wear shoes, and and there were many pies descalzos, right? That that was the time of the pies descalzos. So Adoc came to El Salvador or was founded on in El Salvador back in those times, you know, <laughs> difficult times. And so it's amazing their story, how they have struggled to become the company they are still. Then I found about Mike Mike as well, how they were introduced in the country and so on and so forth. Um, does any company comes to your mind right away? How it is started here in, in in our country? Lido. Lido. No me olvido. Exactly. What about Rosario? El Rosario. Do you know what? She passed away uh, recently, a few years ago. And I, I wanted to ask you, have you noticed that the taste of the bakery, I'm sorry, of the pastry, the taste of El Rosario pastry has changed. Have you sensed that? Have you feel that? Have you tasted that? I'm sorry. Yeah. If you, if you have taste a different flavor on their pastry, it's because uh, Mrs. Rosario passed away a few years ago. That's what I think. Because it was it, it matched, you know, when she passed away, the quality was like uh, going down a little bit. I don't know. That's my perception. That's my POV. Yeah. Hey, you got it. I didn't know what was POV. I mean, <laughs> these guys and their acronyms. Your point of view. A point of view. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. I'm staying with Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Just a minute, sir. And then I'm going to lower this. Huh. And come back. And I have to start tomorrow at 5 a.m. So wish me luck. Okay, guys, uh, good night and good fight. If you are going out tonight, 
don't drink too much and if you drink don't drive okay okay no it's very fucking <laughs> okay <light. laughs> you never listen anyway <laughs> <laughs> that is a phrase. That is a phrase. Not in Spanish, <laughs> not in English. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, good night. And Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, and teacher, and good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. <clears throat> Enjoy the weekend. Same to you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good night. Hey, wait. <laughs> Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here to you present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jarvin was here, I think. No? Okay. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Okay, he was here. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, have a good weekend. Same to you, Juan Miguel Bram here. Juan Miguel was here, right? I saw him. Okay, Luis Albert, Steve Bonilla Canales. Present, you sure. Good night. Good Wendy... night, have a good weekend. Same to you, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Okay. Okay, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Wow. Something that surprises me a lot is that nobody stays. When I say that I'm going to stay with Fulano or Fulana, everybody runs away. <laughs> In previous groups, it was very funny because I was I was like, I'm gonna stay with Francisco. Then I used to say bye bye, good night. And two, one, two, three people still here, you know. <laughs> hey, guys. In, the, in, in this group is very quickly, this year. <laughs> they don't want to they don't want to hear English anymore. <laughs> I, I I think it's it the the it the um what do you say t shirt consensus? I don't remember. Tired? Um, tired. Mm -hmm. How else can you say tired? Tired. Hmm? Mm. It's possible, uh, teacher. It's possible. Uh, what are synonyms? Come on. What are synonyms for tired? Try asleep. Uh, asleep is when you're falling. Yeah. Sleepy. Tired. Uh, bored. Bored. Mm, no, no. We, we went out of the context. Okay. Uh, synonym. Burn. Uh, burned. Burned. Burn. Repeat. Burned. Burn. Burned. Burned. It's like Mr. Burns, mm. but without the S. Burned. Burn. Better. Um, exhausted. 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 I can have a problem with this spelling. Exhausted and extenuated but this is like the extreme I mean uh, when you feel extenuated it's because do you want to know nothing <laughs> about almost, no one I almost died <laughs> you almost die extenuated <laughs> yes exhausted uh, yeah that's it so how long have you been on this course yes. sorry to turn how long have you been on this course with Inglés Corporativo? Um, I started uh, in the uh, basic three, teacher. Basic three, oh, okay. Basic three. Mm -hmm. So, and this and, has been your only experience with English, am I right? Uh, uh, Continue a uh, desk teacher because in the past uh, I uh, tried to study, but uh, I started two or three course, but uh, I don't finish. 
get in finish yeah. don't say sorry <laughs> got it. say got it instead of sorry say got it got it got it okay, got it teacher. don't even say teacher got it got it got it okay got it thank you okay got it thank you okay i started i started past 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 basic basic and inst instead of instead of saying um in the past try to say previously Previously, so, I started at other academies and da da Now, so long time working on English. Um, so what do you feel at this point has been the most difficult part of learning? Is it listening, understanding, you know, or is it speaking, reading, or writing? Yeah, speaking, teacher. Sure. Speaking? Why? Speaking. Because someone someone has mm. told you, or uh, because you uh, feel. Uh, for me, it's, it's very difficult to uh, uh, make a a sentence, uh, or try to uh, uh, communicate an idea. But uh, uh, for listening, I I feel that. Uh, uh improve this 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 area but in the speaking uh, i feel that uh, for me is a little difficult to share it, that's normal it's very normal what i actually suggest my students always is you must go through a call center even if it is a part-time job or if you get the chance, let's say you don't want to leave your job right now. Okay, ask, go to a call center. You know what? I have never thought about this, but I'm not going to mention it <laughs> because of my security, <laughs> my own security. I cannot mention it, but it's a great idea. But yeah, go to a call center, you know, apply, get a part-time job that will not affect your current job if that's possible and start practicing because that's the only way people loses their fears i spoke english until um, the time when i was 21 years old 23 21 and that's because uh, i never had the opportunity of of maintaining a long conversation with someone uh, but i was forced by my boss to bring tires from India. So he 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 was like, and the guy, my boss had started in Escuela Americana. The, the three brothers, you know, the owners of the company had started in Escuela Americana. And he was like, okay, you're gonna call this guy in India from Triangle, you know, Triangle Tires. So you're gonna call him and you're going to interview him and everything. And you're going to make him come to El Salvador and close the deal. And I'm like, but you can speak English. Why don't you do that? I mean, you have the experience, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You speak better than me. <laughs> uh, okay. So that's the way I started. Next, I applied to a call center in 2005. And it changed my life tremendously. I mean, I was making one hundred seventy four point five dollars, one hundred seventy four fifty. That was my salary every month. And I went from one seventy four fifty to eight hundred nine hundred dollars a month. That was life changing. So that's the only advice I can give you or get a friend who speaks English. <laughs> Don't you have a family member? Uh, um, uh, I have a uh, some uh, member that they live in the United States, teacher. But uh, uh, I, I, uh, in in my case, I try to uh, listen. For example, 
a song channel on YouTube or or, uh, or some tips in in social network, but I I, uh, I think is is a uh, it's a, a little part, but you can uh, say a, a good advice to sure. <laughs> That's a great idea too. Let me show you. I forgot about the surprise about the. Um, Yeah, about the surprise that I was going to send you. <gasps> oh, there it is. They changed the um, the address or something. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. This was the the prize that I was telling you at the beginning of the class. Your prize. Nobody actually asked for it. This is very addictive. Do you like music? Yes, I sure. Okay. Yes, I do. So there it is. Lyrics training. Man, that's that blows your mind. If you like music, you can read the karaoke first and then go to the basic level, fill in the blanks. You can install the app on your cell phone. It's free. And you can go choosing options. Even if you never heard the song before, it's really a nice training. But be careful, it's addictive. <laughs> really, if you like music. Well, it's been my pleasure. Thank you very much, Francisco. If you have any questions or, or need my help, just text me, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank Good, you night. Good night. Good night, teacher.